Okay. I'm gonna show you some LA versus LA, but I'm gonna keep it simple. New construction options. So right now, I really shouldn't go one miner for war because in this map because it's gems and it's oil and it's tons of money. What I'm gonna do is just give you, just to show you anyway. On my way. On this map, I mean, you can do it, but I mean. Unit ready. Unit lost. If he rushes it, it'll be hard. Rolling with the chrono convoy. Construction complete. Okay. Yeah. Building. Order. Structure sold. Unit it's better to um, get them all from one patch because the chrono miners, you don't want to beam, beam too far and take the wrong path. I'm going to put it there because it's a computer. No. Put this in the same spot. Construction options. And boom, boom. Unit ready. Training. Building. Unit reporting. You're I see low drag. Unit reporting. Unit Vehicle ready. ready. How about the last? Yes, sir. On our way, sir. Building. Good to get. go. Unit ready. Usually, you, forward. you get a pillbox Unit right here, but reporting. when he starts making air, complete. yeah, and Sam, when he would bring Grizz, I would um, way, place the pillbox down. Yes, sir. Bound forward. But versus Building. allies, it's a yes, different sir. story. Good to go. Unit ready. Versus allies, you would want to, um, Unit ready. Building. Construction complete. Construction you want to put a Patriot missile on hold Building. instead. But I can't do it right now because I'll go low power. Unit so ready. my army would look like this. Really point right here. So I want to make as many Grizzly tanks as I can, as many AFVs as I need. Unit ready. And the computer doesn't even build an army. What the Command Command I use hotkeys for, for the for the um planes. Training. I made two bags. I was supposed to pump Unit rocketeers ready. like crazy. Building. Unit ready. Technology stolen. How do you spy me without a lamb and? Unit ready. Oh yeah, and by the way, you could get these guys up here, and boom, 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 boom. Okay, now I'm gonna um, show you in a couple minutes what my army's gonna look like. Construction complete. Now this is what my um, army is gonna look like. Building. It's going to be tons and tons of rocketeers, tons of grizzly tanks, and it's going to be as many AVs as I need. Oh, I shouldn't have put number six in there. Six, 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 and, and when you're Korea, you want to um, always blow up the lab, no matter what team they are, because you want to chisel the tanks down with Korea, and then you want to um, make sure. Building. You blow the um, lab up. That's the one good thing about Korea. Now I would I only need three, three of them, unlike four for Harriers to blow up the lab. But I make four in case one gets shot down before I get there, and that's what the same thing you do with that against Yuri too. Make shoot it with four, even though it only takes three, just in case one gets shot down. Okay, and now I'm starting to make Prism. This is stage two. Stage one is mass grizz, as many air views you need, and rocketeers. And stage two, you want to start making prisons, but you can make Mirage too, if he has a ton of grizzly tanks. Then you make. If he has a ton of grizzly tanks, you can make Mirage before Prism, but sometimes you could just still make Prism anyway. Because you want to skip the step of making Mirage sometimes, because because the um, prism tanks kill them very very easily. And I notice how I did get a um, or pure fire on this, even though it's tons of money. It eventually it's gonna run out because I'm because the, I ha I'm making a lot of war factories and and it's gonna run out fast. And make sure you always have high power. Yeah, enough electric so your Patriot missiles will keep working and your production will keep fast. Versus 
unit another lost. ally. And then you basically, you know, you can unit line up the prism tanks, keep them safe from the back. But I've seen some players, like, line them up, like, in a straight line, like, like, boom, boom, boom. And it, and it seems to work. And I got three, I could just keep shooting his lab. Because he has no tanks to shoot. But I've seen some players line up prisms like this. Unit ready. They just get everyone in the, everyone like in a straight line like this. Okay. Unit ready. okay, and something like that. I see how they're all like that, and they they kind of like really do a lot of damage because in a straight line and every single one of them is hitting something. But I don't know. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't always have to be like that. And then just kind of pressure him, attack him. And that prism takes really, really hurt him. Now for this, the last thing, if you really far into the game, you need, I'm not gonna make supers right now. If you really far into the game, what you want to do, and say you run out of money. Training. Just make mass battle fortresses. If you run out of all your prism tanks and Unit all the ore is gone, because battle fortresses are the strongest thing in late game versus allies. And why is that? It's because because right now, if I made a battle fortress versus someone that had a similar army to me, the prisms and the racketeers would take the hits for the battle fortress. I mean, of the enemy battle fortress. So my wait, my better fortress will be shooting at his rocketeers because his rocketeers would be hitting the hit, taking Unit the hits. Ready. Unit ready. Right. Ready. So and my um prism tanks and grizzly tanks are gonna own the better fortress. So basically, but if you have better fortress in late game in your America, you get free. Lost. You could use all your Warning. GIs up. <laughs> And your GIs Unit and Guardian ready. GIs, but since I'm Korea, I have to Unit just make our Guardian GI so Unit it's more expensive and, and you know, use any leftover Unit GIs and promote it. And then, like, I get a whole bunch of. This guy, Unit these guys ready. say, like, my army's all gone. Training. All this gets blown up and then we break even. Now, I'm just gonna make some. A whole bunch of better fortresses and just keep going back and forth, make an engineer IMV. And that's the late game. If it gets that far, and it usually doesn't get that far. With allies versus allies. And, I mean, that's just some tips. And then number four, remember wrench. Use a wrench to keep you guys safe. Remember, better fortresses are the strongest, but better fortresses will lose to a lot of grids, a lot of prisms, and a lot of rocketeers. Especially, the main reason is, is especially because of the rocketeers. And keep a prism, you know, Patriot missile on hold. And that's the basics of allies versus allies. You want to make a big, a big rhino army. You don't want to tech right away. And if this is what, if this was a regular map without um gems and oil then what I would do is um, five minor tech or even six minor tech if it's regular two you might even want to tech a little bit later because because of the um the fact that the grizzly tanks go so much faster than mirage tanks and prisms but you and remember you could always use you could always use mirage tanks too but the, you're getting you're taking the risk of getting them owned by prism tanks and the best situation to do this is when there's a lot of, um, when your opponent just has so many grizzly tanks that your mirage tanks, are, I mean your prism tanks are just gonna like not be able to um, handle them. But rhino tanks though, have more armor, so it's a different situation versus so Soviet. Okay, and that's all for. No, I could easily kill them. Very easily. It takes about like seven. Seven to kill it, maybe six. Yeah, seven to kill super weapons. Seven to kill the MCV for Korea. And that's it.